Hello again. So you might be wondering why we go to so much trouble to learn about bats, or why the zoo has a bat program in the first place. Well, bats in Ontario are facing a pretty tough time. Out of the eight species that live here, half of them are now endangered, uh, and more of them could be added to that list in the next few years. One of the biggest threats facing bats in North America is a disease called white nose syndrome. And this is caused by a fungus that humans accidentally introduced to North America from Europe in 2006. And in the years since then, it's spread very rapidly and covers the entire eastern half of the continent, including Ontario, where it first arrived in 2010. And this has caused huge declines in a lot of the bat species. In some areas of Ontario, some species have declined around 90%. It's been described as perhaps one of the biggest mammalian declines in recorded history. White nose affects bats which hibernate in caves, because that's the kind of conditions where the fungus fungus likes to grow, but when bats go in there, it starts to grow on their bodies, and it grows in their wings, uh, in their soft tissues around their faces and their noses, hence the name, and it causes them to wake up during hibernation. And if a bat wakes up too many times in hibernation, it runs out of energy and it doesn't have enough fat storage to make it through the winter until there's food again. Even though white nose syndrome is a problem that we caused, it's a very difficult problem to solve because it'd be very hard to treat all the bats in North America or to attack the fungus in every cave where it exists. However, what we are starting to see is that not all the bats are being affected by the fungus. There's a small number of them that seem to be surviving and are perhaps resistant. Uh, in which case it's very important to identify where they are uh, and what requirements they have for habitat and other factors that help their survival uh, so that hopefully those few bats that survive can continue through and the populations don't disappear entirely. Bats in Ontario are also threatened by wind turbines and habitat loss through development and other factors. But the biggest threat that they face is that we simply don't know a lot about them. It's hard to protect or conserve species where we don't understand the things that they need. Bats also face tough times because they have quite a negative public image. They're featured heavily in vampire movies, uh, and people are often scared of them, uh, even though they're not very scary when you get to know them. And so tomorrow, I'm gonna to talk about the work that we do uh, to help them out here at the zoo.